this is a, a map of uh, Stalo territory. And um, in modern terms, they say that it's um, uh, all unceded territory, which means that there was no wars, there was no agreements, um, there was no documentation signed in any way. And uh, this is a picture of all the, the whole Stalo territory. And you can see that it starts from the ocean at Musqueam, and then it goes all the way up into uh, the eastern part of the province of, of British Columbia. And uh, Musqueam is always at the mouth of the of Stella territory uh, with the ocean. And then uh, the Fraser comes up, and then we have Kwantlen and uh, Matsqui or Mathaqui and Samath and Chilquayuk or Chilliwack. It goes all the way up the Fraser River to a Hamel. And, um, and it just works its way all the way up around uh, the Hope area, uh, farther up to uh, even to Yale. So all the way up along the Fraser River was the Stalo villages that dotted the Fraser River. And that's why they call us the people of the river. And that's no wonder because all of the villages were all along there. And um, they all sp spoke uh, Halkamelum. And, um, and it's a very uh, uh, kind, gentle language. And uh, it's it's uh, our elders describe it as just a a real humble language, and um, and so th there was different dialects, but they all understood each other in speaking Halkamelum. And then, of course, um, all of these villages uh, uh, they would go and. Uh, uh, visit each other on the canoes that they had. The canoes were the uh, cars of the day. And then sometimes if they uh, wanted to use a runner, they would use a runner and a, a runner would take messages uh, and uh, run all the way to the next village and give information about, uh, uh, about the message. And of course they intermarried um, and of course, that is something that uh, is um, uh, used by other nations too. It, it was really kept the, the peace uh, among the villages to have intermarriage. And so all of these different places, they intermarried and uh, they all uh, just lived in quiet and, and peace. And so the Stalo people, they're the ones that occupied all of the, uh, the, the Fraser River, what is now known as the Fraser River, all up and down. The only people that lived close to the ocean and close to the Fraser River was the, the Musqueams up this way. And that's actually where my dad is from, Musqueam. And then, of course, um, my mom is from Samath the Samath people, which is known as Sumas. And they were an arranged marriage, uh, which means that they brought, were brought together by the elders. And um, Samath uh, is located uh, just tucked away in here. And Samath also had a, a big lake uh, that they uh, had for thousands of years and it really over time it became their supermarket and that's where they would go and um, get salmon there was salmon in there and trout and there was these little islands that where they could go and get deer and ducks and uh, medicines so but the Sumas Lake is now drained but uh, I know this because um, uh, when I was growing up, they used to talk about Sumas Lake and how it was very important 
And when they drained it, it was a huge, huge loss for the Stalo people at that time. And you can see um, all of these little tiny arteries here too were, uh, were very important because all of these little arteries too had all of these smaller little side arteries. And then when the salmon would come up to spawn, they would go into these little uh, arteries as well and some of the smaller side arteries and they would just uh, uh, spawn every four years. And, and uh, there's just a huge, huge uh, uh, replenishment of salmon. But over the years, um, many of these were lost too because of uh, uh, development. And, um, and so the historic little arteries and streams, um, they become covered by development. And so um, it's no wonder that uh, many of the spawning beds uh, um, they, when they were ruined, they, they, they really caused a big problem for the salmon to, and have somewhere to go to spawn. So, but these maps here, they, they really kind of highlight what all these main arteries and all these little tiny arteries look like. So, uh, sometimes uh, they would just set their traps uh, in these little arteries and then uh, just... Um, harbor all the salmon that they needed. And then of course they never ever took any more than that because the uh, style of people, um, they're taught just to take what you need. And uh, so that's uh, the big teaching is uh, out of uh, respect and, and gratitude for all the resources is just take what you need and, um, and never ever uh, get greedy and uh and never just hunt for fun um and these are our values and uh, and of course outsiders when they came here they had different kinds of values that really confused the stalo people because we we're never taught those things how to uh how to just uh, take advantage and and how to maybe kill for fun so that you can have a trophy hung over your fireplace. These things really didn't make sense to Stalo people. And uh, they really went uh, against the grain of our values. And uh, so today we're still taught that all up and down these, all these villages, they all believe the same thing, uh, to have that gratitude in your heart. They're taught the same. And, uh, and and just take no more than what you need and uh, and to have great uh, gratitude for for not just the salmon but uh, everything, the four legged, the wing, the root, and uh, all those providers that uh, uh, give us such great gifts uh, uh, every day and um, and and, help sustain us and they were uh, taught these things uh, through the, down the generations the, the, and uh, they made sure that uh, that uh, the future generations understood these things because they were taught that if you just take things for granted and and uh, you get greedy or selfish then then uh, then you're just uh, some sort of parasite. And uh, so this is the way all of these people here uh, carried themselves. And uh, they, the old timers fully knew that uh, everything comes from the earth, everything. And you, you need to make sure that uh, you always have that uh, gratitude and that respect in your heart for it all. And um, that is a, a good basic teaching for humility in general. So uh, gratitude and humility are really one and the same word, really. So uh, uh, the elders knew all of these things 
and this is what they tried to uh they didn't try they did make sure that future generations uh, understood these things and, and had them in their hearts okay so that's a bit about the territory and uh, style of people